there's got to be a better way to boil water. Today on Gozier Hot List, we're reviewing the Kosori Gooseneck Electric Kettle. Let's talk about the design here for a minute. I think it looks very pleasant sitting out on a counter. It's a pretty typical gooseneck kettle design. The sort of eggshell finish of the black I think looks really nice. It holds about 0.8 liters of water, which depending on your usage could be a little too small. And it has five presets as well as a keep warm feature. What about the construction? It has a fully stainless steel body. The lid pops off very easily to fill. Sometimes I know with kettles, I just end up filling it through the spout. This knob is made of plastic. It doesn't ever get too hot. The handle is plastic as well. The base here is hard plastic. The buttons are glossy here and they don't actually push. They're like a touch screen. This is an underrated feature, but an important one to me. The cord wraps up very nicely underneath and you can sort of customize the length of it. Cable management, people. Let's get into some testing. Kosori claims it takes about three to five minutes to boil water. Let's see what the actual time is. I've filled it right up to the max fill line. We're gonna turn it on and boil to 212 Fahrenheit. Start the timer now. There it is, the pros. I use this thing almost every day. I think the pouring action is really good. The finish itself is fairly fingerprint resistant. I can't tell on camera if it's picking up anything, but I think it's a good finish. I like the option to choose what temperature it's going to boil to, as well as to hold that temperature. If you push that hold temperature button, it will stay there for about an hour. You saw the test, but in my opinion, it does boil really quickly, way faster than on the stove. The pour speed on this thing is perfect for a pour over. It's probably what you're using a gooseneck kettle for the cons I've been using this kettle every day for almost a year and there's not much negative to say about it the 60 to 70 dollar price range is a little bit high but for comparable gooseneck kettles I think it's very reasonable here's one of the biggest cons I don't know if you can see this here around the edges a lot of scale buildup happens when the kettle's boiling the steam comes up through here and actually calcifies around the edge. We've cleaned this multiple times over the year we've had it with vinegar and it just keeps happening. If the steam vent does get turned toward the handle and you grab it, I have burned myself a couple times with the steam, but that's probably just my fault. So there you have it, the Kosori Gooseneck Kettle. I think it's a really great product. You could go for a way more expensive version that you saw in an Instagram targeted ad, or at least you will after you watch this video. But I think for 60 to $70, this is a great item. I give the Kosori Gooseneck Kettle an 8.5.